Hello, and welcome to Stationery at 4. It's not 4 a.m., it's actually closer to 4 p.m., and so there's a little bit more light in the background here. Uh, the reason being, I've been spending the last few mornings anxiously getting ready for a business trip, which I'm going to be away for about a week or week and a bit, and I haven't had the mornings to myself as much. Well, I've had it to myself, but not for the intent of recording a video. So. I've got the house to myself this afternoon and I thought I would take a few minutes to record a video that is a bit poignant with respect to some of the reflections on what I want to be taking with me on my trip. And the obvious thing here is to take stationery, of course, uh, that's something that I'm keen on bringing with me, but in particular I want to bring my traveler's notebook and as I was reflecting on what accessories I wanted to bring with my traveler's notebook it occurred to me that I've already got all my favorite accessories on my traveler's notebook as it stands today and I don't really need to dial anything down or differently for the trip. So today, to be clear, I want to talk about my favorite traveler's notebook accessories. And three in particular, there's the Traveler's Company Brass Clip, there is the Page Anchor, and then the Cloth Zipper Insert inside of the Traveler's Notebook, my Traveler's Notebook here. Things like the pen holder and the inserts and the refills I've already covered in other videos, but really I want to concentrate on, on the page anchor, the brass clip, and the cloth zipper insert. And there's a couple of things in my cloth zipper insert that uh, are also accessories that I'm going to be bringing with me on this trip as well. And so these are by no means the only accessories one must use with their traveler's notebook, but these are my favorite traveler's notebook accessories and it's what I've dialed my system down to over the years of dabbling with different types of things as I've been playing around with the system. So without further ado, let's dive into the details. Now I should preface, there are many options out there for page holders or page clips. And I've tried quite a few in my day, but I was quite happy when Traveler's Company released the Traveler's Company Traveler's Notebook brass clip, because I felt like it did the brass clip really well and it's designed for the traveler's notebook system in particular a lot of the other clips out there that i tried left indents on my traveler's notebook and this one still does leave an indent but not as pronounced as some of the other clips out there i have used so i clip the traveler's notebook uh, the brass clip i'm just going to call it for the, the brass clip from now on on the back of my traveler's notebook like so. And to talk about the Traveler's Clip here in particular from the Traveler's Company, there are actually two versions of the clip available out there. And I own both. So this one is the, uh, I suppose, the graphic Traveler's Clip, which has a picture of an airplane. And this one is just the standard writing that's included. Now, I particularly gravitate to this one just because of the aesthetic, but that's just a personal choice. Now, both of these, or each one of these, retail for 24 Canadian dollars, and they're about 1.7 inches in width and height, width and height and width. Let's try that. Length and width, length and width. Uh, <laughs> They're about 1.7 inches by 1.7 inches, and they are about about an inch deep, just less than an inch deep, and they are hefty. It's a beautifully designed clip. It's got a very solid spring inside of it, and it's gonna it gives the impression that it's gonna clamp on the clamp onto anything with a death grip and never let go. And so the edges are flat, and it won't crease the paper in my experience. If it does, it's very, very faint. And while, like I said, it does leave a little bit of a indent, you can kind of see this line right here on the back of my traveler's notebook. I don't find that it actually uh, leaves a permanent mark as I've tried, as I found with some of my other traveler's notebook covers that I have with other paper clips or clips that I've used or brass clips that I've used. Now, the thing I like about the Traveler's Clip is that it, as I mentioned, is very solid and it holds things open very well. I'll just go ahead and clip it on. And it actually acts even as a bit of a paperweight. 
why would you want to entertain the idea of a clip in the first place? Well, if you're using a traveler's notebook system, you'll know that the traveler's notebook inserts, at least the ones from the traveler's company, don't lay flat. So if I were to remove this, this would just flop right over. So it's really nice to have a solid weighty clip that holds onto things. I mean, that's just one use. You can also just clip clip anything down, clip little bits of ephemera into your notebook if you want. I personally use it for watercoloring sometimes with respect to holding things down. Let's actually flip to a watercolor that I have used or I've done, perhaps like that. And then you can just go ahead and do it that way. So many uses for the clip. It doesn't have to just be used with the Traveler's Company as well, or the Traveler's Notebook. It has uses outside of the Traveler's Notebook system. The next one I want to talk about in terms of my favorite Traveler's Company, Traveler's Notebook accessories is the Page Anchor. The Page Anchor is not a Traveler's Company product. It's directly sold from Page Anchor. At least I haven't found a retailer in Canada who sells these. Um, I believe Wonder Pens did carry them for a bit of time, but haven't in the last little while that I've checked. This was actually a gift given to me, uh, and it was, I believe it costs about 60 Canadian dollars. Uh, you can get them on sale, so perhaps it's somewhere between 50 and 60 Canadian dollars. And this is the gold version. They come in many different variations, but what it is, is it's a 316 stainless steel, um, uh, metal with plating, uh, different metal plating finishes. So this one is in, in gold, but you can get rose gold, platinum, and a few different variations and colors. Now, you might have seen this on many an Instagram page when it comes to the stationary book lovers out there. It was designed to be used for with books uh, to hold book pages or books open and keep them flat again using the concept of a lay flat here but i find that um, they also work really well for journaling and it's one of the things that i particularly like using in my traveler's notebook you can see how this is just flopping open but if i use a page anchor it keeps the notebook open and closer to a lay flat which is great now there are a couple of quirks I've noticed with respect to the page anchor, so I'm going to put this back in here. And yes, it's nice to look at, but, and this is just me, again, this is just preference. To turn the page, you slide this guy up and over, and then you slide it back down, and that's how it keeps, keeps the pages down. And then you have to do this for every page that you read. And that's the first thing I've noticed is that you'll get to a point where obviously you've perhaps, not obviously, but perhaps you've read quite a bit and you've now got to pull this entire thing out and put it back in. The prongs here are designed with a considerable amount of length to be able to satisfy that action of just pulling it out a little bit and turning the page, right? So I find that action a bit repetitive and a bit annoying, but that's the intent of how this does, this was designed. The other thing that I've noticed here, and I'm gonna zoom in, show this from the top down actually. So this is you putting your page anchor into your book. And now anytime you turn a page, you're flipping some quantity of pages from the right side to the left side. And what ends up happening here is that you'll get an imbalance. Obviously, uh, less pages on the right, more pages on the left. You've got to pull the whole page anchor back out and um, put it back in. So depending on how, how much you read or how fast you read or whatever, um, basically how many pages you're turning, you might find that uh, page anchor a little bit annoying. The other thing I've noticed is because of the design of the page anchor and how it holds the pages down with some pressure, with some pressure, 
And again, if you got more pages back and forth, you've just got to be a little bit careful. And what I mean by that, I'll just zoom in here, is you can see that it is creating a little line and a little bit of a permanent crease on your pages. If that's not a big deal to you, I wouldn't worry about it. For me, it's kind of one of those things where it's like, well, I'm not sure I'd like that on my pristine books. And it also typically resides onto the back of my Cloudburst notebook. So, right next to my clip. The last thing I want to talk about in terms of my favorite accessories is the cloth zipper insert. The cloth zipper insert here, this one is the B-Sides and Rarities collection. I'm just going to go ahead and pull it right out. So this is the cloth zipper insert. And this is the B-Sides and Rarities version, as I mentioned, which came out in 2021. Although they do have different colors and different variations now available through the Travelers Company website and affiliate stationery stores. This one in particular cost $65. You can also get leather versions out there, which I'm not sure the Travelers Company themselves make, but um, many third party or other brands do make leather versions as well. And there are third party and other brand versions out there, obviously for the cloth zipper as well. But I've just gravitated to the Travelers Company one just because it's part of the fully uh, full system offering. Maybe that's the best way to put it. It's a fairly basic uh, concept, but it actually adds a multitude of functionality, at least in my opinion, to my Traveler's Notebook. I'm actually going to go ahead and insert this back in to my Traveler's Notebook. And the way I do it is I like to have the zipper portion in the middle of my Traveler's Notebook. I don't like it on the end, so I wrap the cloth zipper insert around one of the refills or one of the inserts like that. And so this has a cloth zipper insert here. It has three pockets for our cards. It has a pouch in the front here and a zipper pouch, as the name implies, in the back here. And while we're on the subject of the zipper pouch, I'm going to talk about some of the inserts that I carry, or some of the accessories, my favorite accessories, within the cloth zipper insert that I really like. But as I said, uh, lots of functionality that gets added into your Traveler's Notebook system here. When I go traveling as I'm about to here, I'm going to be slotting in my travel documents into the back here, my passport and stuff like that, um, a few important cards and whatnot. So the other things I wanted to mention in terms of accessories that I have here, I carry two things in my cloth zipper or my pouch insert, my zipper insert, zipper pouch. There we go. I found the right words there. And uh, must haves for me are a pair of scissors and a really nice felt tip pen. And then as I go traveling uh, or journaling, sometimes I tend to collect ephemera or clippings and stuff like that in inside the zipper pouch and then coins and stuff as well so that's the zipper pouch side for me here i carry some kitta washi tapes which i find are really good for traveling and mobile journey which i've also got a video on as well and then inside here as i mentioned i typically would carry my passport if I'm traveling, but in particular, what I always have in here is one, a really good bookmark because I love to read, and number two, a really good ruler. This was gifted to me. It's, uh, I believe, a Midori brand ruler, which is centimeters only, but uh, I really like it. It's it's very strong, sturdy, it's metal, it's got a little bit of wood, looks kind of classy, but any ruler is fine. I used to carry around just even a straight edge uh, cutout to length in here. I find having a ruler really makes a difference. So that was a quick overview of my favorite Trapper's Notebook accessories and I hope some of that information might be helpful to you in your considerations for purchases with respect to your accessorizing of your Trapper's Notebook systems out there. So thanks very much for joining me today. 
If you liked what you saw in this video, please consider clicking on the like and subscribe buttons below. Have a wonderful day, take care, and I will see you in a bit. Bye for now.